Hi, this is Mr. E. Loker King doing my CBCS uh, uh, submission that I finally got back. I submitted it back in uh, October of uh, 2021 on Halloween. Um, <clears throat> I got received in on December 18th, 2021. I got it back yesterday, October uh, the 20th, 2022. All right, uh, this is seven books. Five were signed, two were just, you know, blue labeled. All right. I already opened them because I tried to do a video yesterday. I couldn't get it to up upload, so uh, I'll show you where it came in. It came in this box right here. And, you know, they wrapped it really good with some uh, bubble wrap. And lots of lots of paper like this okay. it's pretty good drawing paper probably all right anyway so the first one is a uh, robocop 2 number one it's a jim uh, <coughs> sorry jim lee cover you know, I thought it was going to be like a six, six and a half. It came back a seven. Uh, Peter Weller signed it. It's right here. It's not in bad shape. It's pretty good. It's got white pages. You know, I've had it in my collection since, uh, let's say, 1991, I think. This is 1990. Okay, 1990. So... I was 17 when I got this. It's pretty cool. And then I got a Go Key Star Trek number 55. Now I thought this was going to come back around 5, but it came back 5.5. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And when I received it in the mail, it got dinged right here in the corner. So I got it pressed out. It still got the line though because your color broke it. Anyway, this is signed by uh, George Decay, uh, Walter Koning, and William Shatner. And if I pronounced it wrong, I apologize. All right. I'm doing this at 2.30 in the morning. Uh, all right. Now this one right here is Amazing Spider-Man 194. You might have all these pressed and cleaned by a dealer down there in Knoxville because I did these in the uh, Fanboy Expo in Knoxville. Anyway, uh, some of it didn't, uh, you know, kind of like it didn't retain its uh, press. Like this right here. There's a big wave right here. This is right here. As you can see it right there. But the cover though was the same way, but it held up. I mean, it's, you know, dirty. Got a lot of creases in it. Got some creases down here. A lot of spine ticks. It had a slight spine roll, but it's gone now because they pressed it pretty good. It was real dirty right here. The white was, but they got most of that out. It does still have some staining though here. Some down here. Right right here. But, I mean, it presents good. It's a 4.5. I thought it would be a 4.5. It's the only one I got around in money, basically. But I bought this one and uh, uh, Sensation Shield number one and number 50. Uh, new uh, Guys number one and Thor 225. I paid like I think $120 for all of them. So I had a Thor 225 and Amazing Spider-Man 194 pressed and cleaned and uh, sent off. All right, this is a uh, Sensational she 43. Now this one I thought was going to be around 94, but I really missed a mark on it. Because there was some, uh, I'll take it out of the bag. I don't want to do that already. Anyway, so. Yeah, some stuff up here. I don't know if you can see it. Little dings. 
It's got some down here too. Let's see right there. Little dings on that. It just has uh like five or six really small little spine ticks. So I'm assuming the little dings around the edges got it. But it was signed by Renee uh I can't even pronounce this. It's a uh, Wiss Dater, something like that. Whistler Dater. Anyway, she's the editor for the book. So, yeah, that's cool. I like the cover. She's pretty cool. She said, uh, she signed it right here. Because she didn't like to write on the uh, artwork. She never ever writes on artwork. So make sure she writes on the outside edges. But that was pretty cool. Good respectfulness for other people's artwork. Now this one I thought was going to be a 9 two, 9 at the worst. Came back at 8.5. But it's signed by uh, Edward Furlong. And Robert Patrick uh, is a Terminator 2 Judgment Day number one. Um, anyway, you got me right here because of some dirt right here. I can't see this. Too much glittering. It's right up here. I don't remember it being there, but like I said, I've had it since I was probably like, since it was 92, so. I was like, uh, no, it's 91, 91. It was published. So, I guess I was like 16, 17, something like that. I'm not even 18, because it says 92 adaptation, but it says 91 direct. So I'm confused about that. So, Hmm, that's weird. Anyway, it was, it was, if that thing is the only reason why I got an 8.5 that dirt right there. Alright, uh, this one is Thor 225. Now, I thought this was going to be a 6. And, you know, after they pressed and cleaned it, it came back at 7.5. That's pretty cool. They only pay like 40 bucks for this one. That's like a year ago though. Anyway, they all have white pages except for uh, Mega Spider-Man 194 has cream to off-white. And this one has off white to white. Now this one I was off the mark by half point, but it was in the ballpark. Originally I thought it would be six, but there's like some creasing here and some here. But the press got out the folds, but you can still they came back slightly. It came back slightly right here on the side. You can see it a little bit right here still. But when they pressed it, it was completely gone. Except for this one right here. That's from uh, printing. Anyway, so this is uh, Whitman uh, Grant uh, Winnie the Pooh, number two. Uh, it's by, uh, let's see. It's Walt Disney, of course. Okay, it was signed by uh, Jim Cummings and commented. Jim Cummings is the one that did the voice for Winnie the Pooh for the cartoons. He also did Tigger. I'm sure he probably did other things. He also did uh, DuckTales, or not DuckTales. Yeah, I think it was DuckTales. Anyway, so this is, it says Tushana, Love, Pooh, Tigger, and it says Jim Cummings right here. Okay. He wrote Tigger like Tigger would write his own name. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, I mean... Uh, for 1977, it's beat up, but it's a respectable 4.5 considering they was read a lot. 
And most of the books she had were rolled, tore up. This is the best one she had in there. Both of them were trash. I kept all the ones that I could save. But anyway, um, that is it, I guess. Uh, I'm not uh, promoting uh, CVCS at all. Uh, I use all the companies. I used, uh, you know, CGC. I've used PGX. I use EGS. I'm only going to, uh, I'm not going to, uh, you know, submit to one, just one. It's going to be based on what, what I need done at the time. Like uh, CGC, usually I do it for the signings they have. And CVCS was just because they were at the convention. Uh, PGX I'll probably use most because it's cheaper. And I don't want to break the bank on it. I can get more done cheaper than I can the other two. That's just my own personal thing. I just don't want to spend a shit ton of money on it. And EGS... I probably use that because I like the uh, top label colors, and some of the co covers I like aren't worth nothing. But I like the idea of having the color match it just for aesthetic. Anyway, I paid uh, two hundred and four dollars. It was one hundred and sixty-one. I'm sorry, one hundred sixty-three for the grading and uh, verification. It was $41 shipping and $204 total. So, seven books. I had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight signatures and seven books, shipping and everything. 204 to me. That was pretty good. I would play like double that amount probably if I did like CGC probably. Um, because it been probably about seventy dollars a book times seven, so that have been a lot. It been double the amount easily. But you know, like I said, I'm not here to promote. I just did this because they were there. If one of the other companies were there, I would probably do the same thing, give or take. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, click what you want, what you love. Don't get trapped in FOMO. Thank you, bye.